can't see Tammy's grocery list. Uh, now back to the pet project with your host, Tammy Trujillo. Get down. Hey, they eat a lot, but they're worth it. Come on. Come on. You get you get their weight in kisses and purrs and all that kind of stuff. So it's worth it. Thanks for joining us here on The Pet Project. And want to bring on one of my favorite people. And this guy's got more energy. I, I, I don't know how he does it. Someday I'm going to have to find out because he's always got about 15 million projects going and they're all going wonderfully. Justin Rudd from Long Beach is joining us now on The Pet Project. Justin, how you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me on. Always, always. You know, I always am at a loss to to, to say, Justin Rudd, he's a... Mm. How, how, how should I classify you? What title shall I give you? Well, I like to just be an advocate for animals and for young people and for the environment. And uh, so maybe just an advocate is a, a good word. Okay, because you certainly do all of those things. <laughs> you do. You are tireless. And again, if you will ever, ever share with me your secret to never wearing out, I would love you even more. <laughs> what do you got going on here? Let's see. Coming up on the 21st, a week from today, you've got the Long Beach Polar Splash. Yes, the Long Beach Polar Splash is... is um, polar splashes and polar plunges happen around the country, and oftentimes mm-hmm. they're on the first day of the year, um, January 1st, on New Year's Day. Right. And basically what people do, even in colder temperatures, they go into the water, like at the ocean or the, the lake or where, wherever they happen to be, and they duck under, and then they come out, and it's just kind of a, a symbolic thing of washing away an, a year and starting a new year fresh. Um, sometimes they do it for charitable causes. We're going to be doing ours on January uh, 21st, which is next Saturday, mm-hmm. in Long Beach. And we call ours the Long Beach Polar Splash. And this is a free event, and it's going to happen right after our beach cleanup that we also host. That's at 10 o'clock is the beach cleanup. The Polar Splash is at 11. We're going to ha- invite everybody to go into the water, run into the water. On, we'll say on your mark, set, go, and then they'll get splash around, get wet, come back out. And for every person that participates – we are going to donate $10 to charity, and some of those charities include uh, spay and neuter programs right here in the Long Beach area. Now, are dogs able to run into the water, too? Absolutely. Actually, the, the official title is the Long Beach Polar Splash and Doggy Dip. Aha. Uh-huh. So um, it happens to be taking place at Rosie's Dog Beach, which is the only off-leash dog beach in Los Angeles County, and so dogs are welcome to participate. We we don't encourage people to duck their dogs. In, in fact, we won't allow anybody to duck their dog under. No. But dogs are welcome to participate. Um, we're, um, just for safety concerns, we're not going to donate money for dogs that participate mm-hmm. because we don't want people to confuse ducking a dog under or ducking a person under. Right. Um, right. So, yes, it's $10 for every person that participates. So the beach cleanup is at 10. Yes. And the splash and doggy dip are at 11 o'clock. Yep, and it's free. Okay, and that's at Rosie's Dog Beach. Now, yep. something else you do every year, and I, I happen to think these dogs are so gorgeous. And I, some people say they're ugly, but I'm saying, you know what? There's no, there's no animal on earth that's ugly. You are having the Bulldog Beauty Contest along with the National Mutt Show. Yes. <laughs> now, now tell, us, tell us about this. How many bulldogs do you get all together in one place for something like this? You know, we've had as many as 300-plus um, bulldogs <laughs> at this, English bulldogs at this uh-huh. event. This is our eighth year for doing it. It is the world's largest gathering of English bulldogs. <laughs> I'm just picturing contest. this, Justin. 300 yeah. bulldogs. Yeah. <laughs> um, so a few hundred bulldogs, what they do is... Uh, walk down a red carpet. Uh, it's a red carpet runway, and it's outdoors at a um, beautiful park that's right on the water uh-huh. um, here in Long Beach. And the the uh, dogs go down the red carpet one by one, single file. And there's white folding chairs and on either side, just like a runway at a um, a fashion show right. that, that maybe in Milan or something. <laughs> <But> we, <laughs> we're gonna do it right here in Long Beach, and uh, each dog just just gets. To be ooed and awed and applauded by the crowd, we get a few thousand people come out and spectate. It's free to participate. Uh, to, I mean, to spectate. Uh-huh. It's ten dollars if they want to enter their dog into the contest. And most of these proceeds benefit um, Southern California Bulldog Rescue. Awesome. It's a rescue organization that helps to rehome um, dogs that are needing to be placed again. Mm-hmm. And you've also uh, got the National Mutt Show, so other types of dogs yep. will be there too, right? Absolutely. In fact. Um, the the main headline the main 
two shows that day are the English Bulldog Beauty Contest and then the National Mutt Show, which is at 1 o'clock. The Bulldog Beauty Contest is at 10 o'clock. But we also have um, pageants for senior dogs. So at 11.30, any dog, whether it's a, a, full, a full breed or a mixed breed, um, and their age is 10 or older, can participate in the senior dog pageant. That is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. It will oh, bring tears to your eyes. I bet we've got a couple senior dogs yes. at home, and I just, uh, you know, you can't, you can't beat them. They are fantastic, no, I, wonderful animals, and they do get short shrift all the time. Justin, yes, this is an opportunity for them to get their moment in the spotlight um, for their uh, the people that take care of those dogs to walk down that runway with them. It's like. The, one of the proudest things you can see it on their faces, mm-hmm. um, and sometimes these dogs are so well, their their um, their joints and their bones right. aren't the same. Right. So sometimes they have to go in wagons. Sometimes they have mm-hmm. to be carried. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's super slow walk, and we give them any as much time as they need to get down that red carpet. And they are getting applause and sometimes standing ovations. Um, and then at the end, at the end of each of these contests, we award prizes, which include like dog food for a year, or treats, or um, gift certificates to local pet shops or grooming mm-hmm. facilities, things like that. And they'll get a crown. They get the bragging rights for a year, I think, which is worth. worth that's the best. That's thing. a big deal. You betcha. Yeah. <laughs> and then we also have uh, events that day. We have a French bulldog pageant at noon, a pug pageant that's at twelve thirty for all pugs. The National Mutt Show, of course, is at one o'clock. So any mixed breed dog can participate in that. The Chihuahua Beauty Contest is at two o'clock. Uh oh. And then rounding out the day, and this is a new event for us, is the Pit Bull Pageant. Yay! Two thirty. Yeah. I love it because pit bulls are gorgeous. Yep. Sometimes Absolutely. they get a bad rap, and oh, um, always. you know who's going to. Um, some people might say, "Well, who's going to win the congeniality award at the pit bull contest?" So I think they're all going to win it, and they all deserve um, to be recognized, and we're going to give them that chance. Absolutely, Justin, stay with us over the break because I got to yep. get all the details so people can enter. We're coming back and talk to Justin Rudd for a few more minutes and make sure if you've got a senior dog, a chihuahua, a bulldog, a pit bull, a mutt, you name it. We got a beauty pageant for you coming up on Saturday, February 11th in Long Beach. So stick with us. Details coming up just after the break here on The Pet Project, the show your pet wants you to listen to. This is Tammy Trujillo on CRN. 